all right good afternoon everyone so today we're gonna work in the garden um, our goal is to try and get a lot of it planted today so uh, the first thing I want to do though is I uh, purchased a um, earthquake furrower um, to put on the back of a rototiller so I'm gonna unbox that and show you all uh, what it looks like out of the box and putting it together and then we'll put it on the rototiller and show you how it works so I'll open the box here so in looking to uh, do the garden this year a furrower is a great help in being able to put it together and, and to be able to get those rows made much easier. So, uh, we've got a couple pieces here. These are the wings, that's the main piece. Uh, there's a lot of other attachments, we've got an instruction booklet. With lots of different bolts and pieces. Normally, I'd say I'd throw the instructions out, but uh, we're not going to do that today because I want to show you all how to put it together and what all comes in here. So there's your main blade for it. So that's what's going to dig, dig into the ground. I said these are wings. They go on there. They're adjustable so you can lift them up if you only need to make a one-sided row. Like lift up one side there. I just have to remind my kids to, when they use a pocket knife, cut away from me, not toward you. Okay. So, piece here. I honestly don't know what all the pieces are uh, called, so I'm just going to open it up. Obviously, it's all part of the furrower, so. But yeah, I just, just got this the other day. All right, so uh, got the instructions here. And there's all the pieces that came with it. Don't forgive the shadows. And then there's the instruction booklet for it. Um, so we're gonna put this together real quick. And uh, it looks like they give you pieces based on the type of tiller you have so um we're gonna i believe we en ended up with a troy bill or cup cadet so we're gonna follow those instructions for putting the furrower together and how it's gonna go on the uh tiller so uh, let's get started all right so uh it took a minute to uh get our tiller over here and then the parts as well so we're gonna go ahead and uh, start assembling this so one of the first things you're going to do is take your main plow piece, uh, a couple carriage bolts so they can fit in there nicely. I separated all the parts out so I made sure I had everything. And uh, the main main piece, this, is going to slide onto there. Put that on there. There, the carriage bolts, and then they've got lock nuts. Of course, lock nuts are great, except for starting them. Because we got nothing to hold them. So. And they're 5 8 so I went ahead and got my ratchet set out here. And uh, we'll get these put on here. So, so far, the instructions are fairly easy, um, as long as you know what you're dealing with here. Really told you what tools you'd need so you're gonna need a 5 8 wrench socket put this together all right once you've got that done they're tightened up you're gonna take the uh, wings and they've got a an edge to them 
that has to go to the back obviously otherwise when you go to put it on it's not going to fit right so you're going to put those on you're going to start with a carriage bolt and go in here you're going to put this on here you're going to get a washer and there's one of these uh, washers here and then you're going to use a wing nut and the reason they got the wing nuts is so that you can adjust the wings if you're doing like a half row or something it'll allow you to do that see so you can come up and lift this up uh, and get that out of the way so you're not using both i will be doing a little bit of that when i use it but for right now i'm going to put the whole thing together we'll see how that goes all right so there it is uh put together and you'll see if you just adjust the wing nuts a little bit, um, you can adjust the height of it. So you can have it like that, a little different adjustments if you want. Uh, I'm probably gonna leave them on this adjustment here. So adjust them both. It's nice with those uh, wing nuts that you can adjust it so very easily. So that's my setup um, for that. So that's just a quick review of putting it together. Uh, we will hear it shortly be putting it on the tiller and we'll try it out. <laughs> Alright, so anyways, that was a quick overview of putting together the Earthquake Hiller Furrower. Uh, it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward, comes with a lot of extra pieces. And uh, we're going to do our garden today, so uh, we're going to get it attached to our rototiller. And you can watch that video to see it attached and how it works. Thanks for watching.